hello and welcome in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install VS code so to download VS code first you go to you open your browser whether you're using Google Chrome or Firefox just search VS code and hit enter once you hit enter then you're going to see the website code.visualstudio.com you can you click on this download here click on download then when you get into the website you're going to see the various distributions windows you have mac you have the debian distributions like ubuntu so if you're on a mac you download the mac distribution if you are using any debian or linux distribution you download from here but in my case i'm using windows so i'm going to click on the windows install package so if I click download, then you wait for a while, the download to start automatically. Yeah, so this is it, it started here. So that's it, it's downloading. Now the download is done. So I can click on this folder icon here in order for it to open it in the downloads file. So if I click on the folder icon, this is it here, I downloaded VS Code User Startup. So in order to install, you have to double click on it this setup men this setup menu is going to open you have to read the license and agreement no one reads that anyway all right you click on i accept the agreement and then next you have to cl click here create a desktop icon next and then you click install so you wait for a while and it is going to be installed wasn't any pop-up asking me to accept to say yes or not on the Windows machine but in your case you might have a pop-up saying do you want this program to make any changes to your machine then you just have to click yes and then you continue so since it's done it is asking if it can launch Visual Studio Code so click on finish and then the editor is going to open so here you have your Visual Studio Code so since we are going to be using it for python you want to install the python extension which is going to help you out with the syntax and all so in order to do that you come here extensions and then here you can search for your extensions so the extension we want to look for is python so you will see here python intellisense Python IntelliSense, you click on it, you have Python IntelliSense by Microsoft with over 108 million downloads. So you click on install, it's installing. So once you're done installing, it is going to show like this, it's going to show this disable button which you can disable or uninstall, you can uninstall it. So with that said, we are ready to start writing our Python code.